Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and Those Dynamics guys. Today I am going to be showing you how to use the remove function, or rather I'm just going to show you how I use it. Um, so uh, this is a continuation of the tiny, the little project that I've got going on which started in video 28. Basically it's um, it is a kind of music montage uh, of images. I haven't done any music, by the way. Um, and uh, but anyway, the idea is that the image changes and um, as time goes on. So it's probably better. And and uh, we need to use the remove function in order for this for the magic to happen. So what I'm going to do is I am going to jump onto. Um, I'm going to jump onto Power Apps. This list here was actually connected to the original list, so I'm not interested in that, so I'm going to delete it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make this a lot bigger here. Um, then I'm going to make my, I'm going to get rid of all this um, junk here, and I'm going to make the thing quite big. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to make this big. Okay. That's quite good. Uh, and now if you look at this, um, what we've got going on here is lots of images, wonderful. Um, and the idea is that as time goes on, what is going to happen is the image is going to change. And so the idea I had was, well, why don't you just show all of the images and just remove one each time and actually it works so that's what we're going to do so the the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little button in um so i'm going to put button okay and this is quite interesting so what we're going to do is um i'm going to call it remove first item and i'm going to change the name uh, rename btn remove um item I'll just uh, that's that's fair enough um, expand this out a little bit and then I am on the this is so this is the the this is the bit where I do the tiny bit of programming so on select we are going to do remove um, open brackets from um, my image library and we're going to remove first um, my image library that close brackets close brackets job done okay and so what that is going to do is it means that we can then remove oh no i know what i've done <laughs> i've removed it from the um i've removed it from i was wondering why i was doing that actually uh, i've actually removed it from the uh, image library um <laughs> explains why it didn't disappear um, so what I need to do is I actually need to remove it from um, I need to remove it from call image library remove call uh, yeah you probably find oh, it probably doesn't even exist call call shuffled images first call shuffled images okay cool so that is what it's going to do now now sadly we have lost an image. I'm not sure which one, but we've lost it. Um, it's it'll be one of them anyway. So if I go shuffle and collect, it'll just do the same thing again. So wonder. What, I hope we haven't lost the penguin. Good. That's a relief. So we got. Um, we have got four items, I believe, in that collection. Um, and so what we can do is when we hit that remove, we're going to remove the first item, and then and so what we'll see is we are going to go from um, an image of. Uh, of the Christmas tree and then it'll be followed by the uh, these kind of Christmas baubles so if you just hit remove like that remove 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 and eventually we'll have nothing and if I go shuffling collect it's going to be completely different order same items different order now here's um, this is the thing that will then make it uh, so that um, so that it kind of all does it to time and so on. So what we're going to do is we are going to do insert. Uh, no, what we're going to do insert 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 a. Uh, we need a timer. Timer 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 timer. Um, there. Insert timer. So we'll put a duration. Let's say it was sort of. Let's just say it's three seconds. 
uh, and it's actually 3000 milliseconds so the duration is going to be 3000 milliseconds and what is it going to do every 3000 milliseconds well what you do is on timer end we are going to do select btn uh, remove item and then close the brackets and I think this is this is actually quite a cool sort of arrangement because you can actually fire different things at the same button so you know maybe it makes it a little bit easier to read sometimes because we always know that's the button that's going to drive that I saw that somewhere anyway um, so what that means is if we go on to here and we hit the timer what's going to happen is gradually we're going to have no so one two three goodbye one two three don't know why I'd... oh do you know what I didn't do um was um I should have put a repeat onto that what that means is the time is just going to keep going and going and going so uh, that means I can do click it on suspense is killing me here we go you see top right top left there just keeps on going just keeps on going and eventually we will have nothing left yeah there we are I'll go shuffle and collect uh, and you can see it's still running so hopefully people think that's interesting because I think it's quite cool um, and it was the basis of the um, the thing which was sort of set to music and so on I'm not sure what the next sort of thing to do is maybe I'll show you how I did the uh, I will show you how I did the count rows because what you can do is you can then take your music and you can divide it by the amount of um, lines. So if you've got like a 60 second piece of music and you've got, I don't know, 23 items, you then obviously take your 67 divided by 23. But anyway, I'm waffling at this point in my life. So I think I'll, um, I'll uh, make that my next video. Anyway, please select like and please subscribe the videos come out weekly and i will see you again soon cheers